and this how to. I want to show you basically this breakout board that I designed for uh, the Node MCU, um, which is based on SB8266. So, Node MCU 8266 takes the ESP chip and uh, handles the USB to serial uh, conversion for you. Um, also, does the power supply. The one thing that I always have issue with is, you know, basically the first, you know, the first thing I designed for my home automation system was uh, basically a remote temperature and humidity sensor unit. So I had just a regular pro board with headers, the SP SP8266 or the Node MCU board on on top of it and a DHT22 temperature humidity sensor. I also had to basically wire everything using just hookup wire. So a sensor, the, uh, uh, the power for the sensor and, and the reset signal, which is kind of uh, important for, uh, for my application because you need, you know, when I, when, I, when I leave these sensors around the house, basically for the first iteration of them, I just wanted them to sit, you know, sit in sleep mode, fire up every minute, send the temperature, humidity readings to my home automation system, which in my case is open hub, and then go back to sleep for 60 seconds. Um, so I needed that reset, deep sleep reset line, which is right here. So pretty quickly, I realized that, you know, this is this is fine. This, you know, this is okay for proof of concept and you know I built quite a few of these um, so I wanted to make something more fully baked basically something that would be wouldn't be ashamed of putting on a wall or uh, leaving hanging around the house in all the different areas so the first thing I did was I designed this little PCB now this is a uh, couple you know four or five iterations into it but you know there's there's the basics of it are you know very similar to this original here so you know I do I do a little breakout for the node MCU I put you know I put headers header bars all the way down the line I do a specific you know specific place for the DHT22 sensor and then while I was designing this I kind of wanted to bring in a couple other things into it so uh, for one, I have this space here for a 3.3 to 5 volt level shifter, which I could put in here if I wanted to. If if I wanted to drive higher higher volt voltage signals, um, still have a place for DHT. Now I also have a place for not only the Node MCU headers, you know, to 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 put the Node MCU into it. But I also have a separate set of headers down the side to um, kind of act as breakout headers. So um, I have one of these made up here somewhere. Original. Yeah. It's basically that board with actually you can see the uh, level shifter, you can see the DHT22 sensor. And then I have headers for the Node MCU, but a separate set of headers on the side to basically allow me to do different experiments with the board. Um, the third set of headers here, so at, at one point I was only using the Node MCU um, version 0 0.9 uh, boards and these are these are a dime a dozen now right now. Um, there's also the Node MCU version 1.0 of these which I also have here somewhere and it's not it's not quite as cheap, but it's um, and you know I'm I'm not sure what the improvements really are on it. Maybe a different voltage regulator or or something like that. But I think for what I need, I you know I, I bought but one just to play around with it. But I'm still sticking with the Node MCU uh, version 0.9s. They're just cheaper and and more freely available. But still, I figured you know if somebody wants to use the 1.0 version. I added a 1.0 set of headers down the side here. Um, I had, you know, so you have the 0.9 headers, the 1.0 headers, and the breakout headers on the side. 
the next thing I did um, is down here there's a three three pin header that goes right inside here and I use this as an external sensor connector so there's just um, digital in or out um, VCC and ground I use the servo style pin out servo style connector um, so you could connect either you know an external you know in my case what I use these for is a motion sensor so I use the so I hook up the motion sensor or I I'll put or I could output a servo signal if I ever needed to and the next set of uh, headers you know the three three pin header right here is actually a jumper header so I figured um, for this external connector I could either source the 5 volt line or source the 3.3 volt line so depending on which one you need you you'll either solder the um, the middle terminal to the 5 point, 5 point line or to the 3 point line or you could put in a 3 pin header and, and an actual jumper to be able to freely select so that's pretty much it this is the uh, this is the breakout board for the node MCU and then from this basically you can create all the other sensors that you need from from this basic basic design so I showed the design for these in the um, on the PCB way website so I'll post the link to it down in the bottom comments um, so let's build basic building block from for my sensors which is basically the PCB, PCB board itself uh, the node MCU and the headers that I will sit on so so first things first I will uh, measure out what I need as far as the header goes and you could get away without not putting in the full header you know there's only so many pins you need but you never know when you might need them in the future so I will basically just create the full one that's one and then down here that's the other one so let me just clean these up a little bit solder so put a little flux on the on the pins here on the, on the pads here and put the headers in um, now again I'm using the 0 0.9 node MCU so I'm just gonna basically put them in the middle slots um, 0 0.9 L and 0 0.9 R that's the main header for the uh, Node MCU 0 0.9 type board if you had a 1.0 board you obviously could we'll put them here and then if you wanted to do the breakout um, set of headers you, you you probably want to you want to cut out two more headers for uh, for the external exterior um, pins here exterior holes here so for this iteration I'm just going to basically use the Node MCU itself with a couple of other things so I will just use the 0 0.9 other side I've got my iron all heat all warmed up and I'm just going to make sure that this board you know I'm using the the desk as kind of a platform for this and I'm going to make sure that it sits straight and I'll just catch it catch a pin here and I'll catch a pin here and then that came out straight make sure that came out straight and I'm going to look at this guy here and this guy here Alright, so 
from this point on I'm just gonna make sure every pin gets some gets some solder. Just go down the line. Alright. So that's a fully soldered PCB board or another MCU. Um, the only thing I'm going to do is I like to make sure that I didn't do and make any uh, mistakes while doing this or join any two pins together. So I'm just going to go ahead and verify. Try to get that in there. Just basically check every pad, make sure there's no crossed pins or uh, double soldered pins. It looks okay. Kind of screw up a pin there so I'm going to try to fix it up a little bit. No big deal though. It's not one of the ones that we're using. Just heat it up a little bit. There it goes. Alright, so now I have this board with headers. Put, put the Node MCU on top of it. Actually, looks like wherever I took it out of had a little. I wasn't being very careful and it bent the pin a little bit. So I'm going to put this in here. And there it is. That's basically with those few steps, basically, I have what I used to have to do with hookup wire and uh, pro board so much easier much faster and uh, much nicer looking at least I think so from this point on there's a couple of you know a couple of directions I can go with this I can either use it as a temperature humidity sensor which means I'll I'll put the uh, DHC sensor on top here um, I can use it as the LED controller project that I made so I'm going to put a three pin uh, JST connector cable to, to this and basically go from there and I'll post those videos up you know the different directions I, I'll go I'll post them up and, and link to them from here so that's it for now for this for this little guy